detailed report, 141 pages, in fact, might shed light on Lois Lerner's true motives during her time at the IRS. Republicans on the House Oversight Committee saying about 100 pages of emails detail how deeply involved she was in the targeting of conservative organizations. Jason Chaffetz, a Republican from Utah, is on that House Oversight Committee. He's with me now. And, sir, good morning to you. Welcome back here to morning, Bill. America's Thanks. Newsroom. Uh, put this in English for our viewers. You got a big report right now. What does this report prove? You have the President of the United States who rightly expressed concern that there was targeting by the IRS. The Department of Justice then starts an investigation. But then you have the person at the center of this, Lois Lerner, who, cl who pleads the fifth. And before the Department of, in uh, of Justice completes its investigation, you have the President of the United States saying, well, there's, no, there's not even a smidgen of any idea of, of corruption here. Uh, but then you look at Lois Lerner in her own words, in emails that she sent, and there's a pattern clearly of her rooting against these so-called Tea Party groups, conservative groups, and trying in a very concerted way to make the case that they should be uh, denied these applications. And, and that's the concern. Okay, now, this is what her attorney says. Her attorney, William Taylor, says you have no interest in the facts. The other thing he says, uh, let's get to that in a moment, come back to me, guys. says, you have no interest in facts. He also says, be interested to know who has any knowledge of the facts that Lerner did these things. In this report, do you have the facts? Oh, absolutely. Like I said, it's 141 pages. You go through and look in Lois Lerner's own words, what she specifically said, and it is clear. It wasn't some rogue agents in some small office there in Cincinnati as what, as what the White House would lead you to believe initially. No, this went right up to the top. It went, it went there in, in Washington, D.C. It was very integrated. Uh, I think it does prove the facts. We want to talk to Lois Lerner, not because she's Lois Lerner, but because she was at the center of this. She's the one that spilled this out. She tried to surreptitiously get this out into the marketplace. Uh, she is the center of, of, of the, uh, the discussion here. We want to get her now, to testify. I, I, I don't know if you're going to get that opportunity. Let me get to that in a moment. Now this is what the report says. I want you to interpret this as well. Lerner, Tea Party was itching for a constitutional challenge. That was part of it. Lerner talked about political scrutiny that isn't per se political. I'm not quite sure what that means. Uh, and Lerner planned to retire in the month of October of that year. Interpret all that for us. The IRS is supposed to be non-emotional. They're not supposed to be involved on any side of this. They're just supposed to look at the law and, and then make sure that it's executed properly. But clearly, you see that she has this, this political bias, uh, not only in an email that she sends out to a relative, but she, into what she does within the, their department. She talks about how the FEC will hopefully save the day at one point. The Federal Election Commission will save the day. A again, she has this political motivation that needs to be further ex explored because I don't think it's just her. This is something that was embedded a little bit further and deeper, but we lay out the facts in 141 pages. People go look for it themselves. Mm, it's it. very detailed. Now, you mentioned several times you want to talk to her. I don't know if you will get yeah. that opportunity. What power does Congress have now well, I to, do believe to get she answers be from her directly? Well, look, when she originally came and testified, she did an awful lot of talking for somebody who claims she didn't want to talk. Uh, as Trey Gowdy and Jim Jordan and a host of others, Chairman Issa, have all pointed out, I really do think that she has uh, put herself in contempt of Congress. She, she can't just not comply with a subpoena, come plead the fifth, but she actually made a statement. We should be able to question her based on her statement. We'll see whether or not you get that opportunity. You think you will in a word, yes or no? Yes. Mm. We'll talk again then. Jason Chaffetz, thank you, sir, the Republican Thanks, from Bill. Utah.